So welcome back into the studio. I am so sorry it's taken me so long to get the third layout in the Lark series up for you to watch. Um, so here what I'm doing is just showing you how I progress with the tabs from the layout number two to the third layout. So I'm bringing up the lace tabs onto this layout because we alternate um, back and forth between the lace and the canvas. So I'm just getting those adhered and then we'll get started with the decoupage part of the initial layout. So really I am just following some of the same um, layout choices I've made from the first and second layout using the same types of decoupage materials. These are just uh, tea or coffee stained um, papers that are in my mixed media decoupage or my text decoupage packs that I have in my store and then I'm just adding some of these wood grain pieces like I did in the first um, couple of layouts so I'm just kind of following that same kind of premise so the whole thing feels like one unified piece These are really fun. These are re hole reinforcers that I just kind of stuck in a vat of um, coffee to stain. And I'm just layering them up three holes uh, per space. So I'm just putting one on top of the other um, and doing that three times to get them to be a little bulkier, so more texture to them. Um, and then I'm each layout, I, I use them, but I use them differently in each layout. So um, they ca when I add that extra bulk by layering them up, I do get some really fun things happening when I add some um, Stabilo All to them. So you'll see that happening further along.
So what I've been doing with this piece is I have been using my acrylic paint as a way to, and I do this a lot with um, gesso uh, in general, but I'm using it to kind of push the decoupage elements a little bit back into the background, making them all feel like they're cohesive parts of the full layout. And I do that also with the tabs because I'm letting them become part of this layout as a whole. So you're gonna see I'm gonna come in with multiple layers, different colors of paint, building up texture, um, pushing those elements back, bringing them into being part of the whole um, so that they're cohesive. can I do? It's so loving and gentle to the core. What can I do when you fill me with happiness and much more? What can I do? It's so stunning. I just can't look away. What can I do? I should know by now you make my day. Never So you're gonna see, I'm gonna reach over to my right a couple times here and then come back and use that um, burnt umber. Um, what I'm doing is I'm actually dipping my finger into water so I can get uh, a different version, a muted, more muted, loose um, ability to go over the surface of the paper with that paint kind of diluted a bit and smooth it out and um, get different tonalities from it from doing that. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just reaching over, dipping my finger in the water and um, getting different um, dilutions of that, that color. So this image is, um, I drew a, a picture, from a picture I drew um, Linda Lewis's face. And then I print, I scanned it and I printed it onto lyrics of one of her songs from the Lark album. And now I've, I've kind of ripped that up and this is just printed on regular printer paper. Um, and I so I did spritz it with some fixative first 
and then I am going to go over the top with some gel medium um, to protect it a little bit more for me to do the additional work that I'm going to do on it. If I were to do some of the work that I'm about to do on top of copy paper, it would start to beat up. And to protect it from doing that, I, I do put that gel medium over the top and let it dry very well. So now I'm just coming back in with this Stabilo All in Brown. I love the Stabilo All Brown and spritzing it with a little bit of water to get it to move and go into the crevices of the texture that um, I was built up because of the, the layering I did with those um, whole reinforcers. So now you can see I'm also coming back in with the Stabilo All and defining and shadowing the shadows of her face, just bringing that out more. And you'll see I, I go in, I do quite a bit of work on her face um, off camera, but um, but for the majority of it, you're gonna see here, I'm just doing a lot of shadowing. All right, now I'm preparing some of the uh, Burt Umber acrylic paint and the Liquitex blended fibers texture medium to palette onto and create her hair. And I've done this in the, the last video. Um, I did use the same technique um, for her hair. I really love the fiberish. Well, it's blended fibers, but um, 
it really does. It's a good name for it because it really does have like a really fibrous kind of texture to it. Um, and I like to work with the palette with it. It really um, responds well. And it's fun. It's fun. I want to play more with this stuff. Um, so anyways, and that's what I'm really, for the most part, that is how I'm going to do her hair. I will go in off camera and add a few little wisps with um, my Stabilo All as well as with a, um, a marker. Now here you can really see the work that I, the additional work I did on the face off camera. Um, it wasn't a lot. I just came in and pumped up a little volume into her eyelashes and her eyes and um, added the wispies in her hair with this uh, pit pen that I'm working using right now. That's the, the pen that I um, had used or the marker that I had used in her hair. So now I'm just layering up um, a couple pieces the paper below the white one is a, just a piece of paper bag like craft paper that I've distressed with water and then added some of that burnt umber to and I'm going to use some gel medium to get that adhered and then adding the quote page of just some of the same lyrics from her from the same song that's um, behind her face on the right hand side. Thank you for visiting my channel. If you've liked this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. 
If you want to see more from me, click on the red subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications of new videos, click on the bell. In the upper right hand corner is an iCard. You can click on that if you want to see more videos similar to this. Thank you.